Imagine boring through 57.5 kilometers of solid mountain, deeper than skyscrapers are tall, hotter than a sauna, and more complex than sending humans to space. France and Italy are doing exactly that right now, creating the longest rail tunnel in the world. But here's what nobody talks about. This isn't just about trains. This is about reshaping how an entire continent moves. And the engineering challenges are so extreme that they're literally rewriting the textbook on tunnel construction. The Mont Damban Base Tunnel, also called the Mont Seigny Base Tunnel, is currently being carved beneath the Alps between France's Morian region and Italy's Susa Valley. When completed in 2033, this 57.5-kilometre railway tunnel will dethrone Switzerland's Gotthard Base Tunnel as the world's longest rail tunnel but the numbers alone don't tell the full story. This isn't just one tunnel, it's two parallel single-track tubes connected by cross passages every 333 meters, plus access tunnels, ventilation shafts, and emergency galleries. The total underground excavation exceeds 162 kilometers. That's like tunneling from New York City to Philadelphia, entirely underground. The scale revelation, let me put this scale into perspective. The project involves seven massive tunnel boring machines, some measuring 11.25 meters in diameter and over 300 meters long. These aren't just machines, they're underground cities on wheels, complete with their own ventilation systems, concrete lining installation, and debris removal operations. The deepest sections reach 2,200 meters below the surface. To understand that depth, imagine stacking four Empire State buildings on top of each other. That's how much rock and earth sits above the tunnel at its deepest point. Four vertical ventilation shafts, each 5.2 meters across and up to 500 meters deep, are being constructed. These shafts alone are deeper than most skyscrapers at all, and they're just the support infrastructure. The engineering nightmare. But here's where it gets insane. The Alps aren't just big, they're geologically chaotic. The tunnel passes through fault lines, underground rivers, and rock formations that shift without warning. Temperatures reach 46 degrees Celsius at depth, creating working conditions that would shut down most construction projects. The geology is so unpredictable that engineers have had to design switchable excavation methods. In some sections, the massive tunnel boring machines work perfectly. In others, the rock is so fractured or hard that they have to switch to controlled blasting using the new Austrian tunneling method with rock bolts, steel ribs and shotcrete support. Water management alone is a nightmare. Underground aquifers have been disrupted during construction, requiring extensive waterproofing, drainage galleries and pumping systems. The engineers aren't just fighting gravity and rock, they're fighting underground rivers that have existed for millions of years. The human drama. This project has sparked one of Europe's most intense infrastructure battles. The No TAV movement, No High Speed Train, has led sustained protest campaigns in Italy's Susa Valley. We're talking about clashes, vandalism, and heavy police presence that's lasted for years. Local communities worry about asbestos and uranium in the mountains being disturbed, despite strict containment measures. Environmental groups point to disrupted alpine valleys, excavation spoil, dust, noise and water table disruption. The controversy has been so intense that it's become a political flashpoint across both countries. Critics argue that the projected freight and passenger numbers don't justify the massive investment, suggesting that upgrading existing lines could have achieved similar results at a fraction of the cost. EU auditors have raised concerns about optimistic forecasts and potential cost escalation. The money reality. Speaking of cost, this is where the numbers get staggering. The Mont Dambin base tunnel alone is estimated at 8 to 11 billion euros. The entire Lyon Torino railway project could reach 25 to 30 billion euros. Multiple construction packages worth over 1 billion euros each have been awarded for distinct tunnel segments. The European Union is contributing 40 to 55% of tunnel costs, with France covering roughly 25% and Italy 35%. But here's the catch. Costs have been increasing due to inflation, complex geology, and enhanced environmental protections that weren't fully anticipated in the original budget. The construction reality. 
As of 2024, nearly 40 kilometers of tunneling has been excavated across both main and ancillary tunnels. 10 active construction sites operate simultaneously across both countries, with over 16 excavation faces working at peak operation. Five of the seven planned tunnel boring machines have arrived on site or are being assembled. These machines are custom built for extreme alpine conditions, featuring specialized gripper designs to cope with squeezing ground and high overburden pressure. The excavation will generate approximately 23 million tons of spoils on the French side alone. But here's the brilliant part. A significant fraction of this excavated rock is being recycled for railway construction or sold as aggregate material, minimizing environmental impact while offsetting some project costs. The technology breakthrough. The engineering innovations being developed for this project are reshaping tunnel construction worldwide. Each tunnel boring machine is followed by a dedicated worm system up to 650 meters long that automatically installs the final concrete lining as the machine advances. Real-time geotechnical monitoring systems adapt excavation strategies as conditions change. When mechanized tunneling proves impossible, the system seamlessly switches to conventional drill and blast approaches with advanced support systems. The ventilation systems are designed to handle both normal operation and fire or emergency scenarios. Cross passages and emergency stations permit safe egress and rapid response, creating what's essentially an underground highway system with multiple escape routes. The transformation promise. But here's why this matters beyond the engineering spectacle. When completed, this tunnel will cut Paris-Milan rail journeys to roughly four hours, making high-speed rail truly competitive with air travel for the first time. The tunnel is designed for passenger services up to 220 km per hour and freight trains up to 100 km per hour. The lower gradients and gentler curves will enable long, heavy freight trains to cross the Alps with dramatically reduced energy requirements. The environmental impact could be transformative. The tunnel is projected to remove up to 1 million trucks per year from Alpine highways, dramatically reducing CO2 emissions and improving air quality across the region. The bigger picture. This tunnel is the cornerstone of the broader 10T Mediterranean corridor, linking southwestern Europe with central and eastern economic hubs. It's not just connecting France and Italy, it's reshaping how goods and people move across an entire continent. The project replaces aging, landslide-prone Alpine rail lines that shut down regularly due to weather and geological instability. This tunnel ensures year-round rail connectivity across one of Europe's most challenging geographical barriers. The level of cross-border cooperation required is unprecedented. We're talking about complex binational engineering, legal frameworks, environmental regulations and funding mechanisms that required years of negotiation before the first shovel hit the ground. The current status. Construction officially began after key agreements were signed in 2016, with completion targeted for 2033. The project has faced delays due to the complex geology, environmental challenges and the sheer technical difficulty of boring through the Alps. Multiple access points on both sides of the Alps enable parallel excavation efforts, maximizing efficiency and reducing the overall construction timeline. The logistics alone are staggering. Some construction sites are accessible only through a single access tunnel, creating challenges for machinery delivery and emergency evacuation. The legacy impact. When this tunnel opens, it will stand as one of the greatest engineering achievements in human history. The technical innovations, international cooperation and sheer audacity of boring 57.5 kilometers through one of the world's most challenging mountain ranges represents a new benchmark for infrastructure development. The project exemplifies how modern engineering can overcome seemingly impossible geographical barriers while addressing environmental concerns and international cooperation challenges. Closing impact. The Mont Dambin Base Tunnel isn't just about connecting two countries, it's about proving that human engineering can reshape continents. Seven massive machines are currently boring through Solid Mountain, creating what will become the longest rail tunnel in the world. By 2033, trains will race through the Alps at 220 km per hour, 2,200 meters below the surface, carrying passengers and freight through a tunnel that represents the absolute pinnacle of 21st century engineering. 
This is more than infrastructure. This is human ambition carved in stone, 57.5 kilometers at a time. We committed to releasing two videos a week. Like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more visionary builds.